such a busy and noisy afternoon where they're training the next generation of fighters here. And I'm also with Cole Miller as a big fight coming up at UC Fight Night on December 19th in Orlando. How are you today, Cole? I'm doing well. Always good to talk to you. Long time no see. So, Cole, how is training camp coming along for you? Going really well so far. Um, I've been here about three months, you know, just getting ready to uh, kind of start a pre-camp. And now I'm in training camp, and uh, we've got a month left. How do you think you match up stylistically with Jim? I think pretty well. Um, I think that uh, I'm more technically proficient in all areas of the fight, um, but he definitely brings that grittiness. I've got the edge and experience. You know, I have the, the, the height and the reach advantage, um, and I've got the octagon experience. So a lot of things, you know, go in my favor. How motivated are you for this fight? About as motivated as always. It's probably not the, uh, the answer that most people, <laughs> you know, would expect. Okay, but, it's a cool uh, answer. But I've been doing this for 13 years now, um, and I've been fighting in the UFC for almost nine years. Um, as motivated as I always am. Why do you think this is a good fight for you? Um, you know, just for some of the reasons I mentioned earlier, I think that uh, technically I have, you know, the, the, the prowess in almost all aspects uh, over Jim, the experience. It's definitely nice to be fighting uh, healthy, you know, and I've, I've done a lot of fights where I have not been fighting healthy. Um, and I've had a lot of, uh, you know, bad luck and some misfortune happen um, either leading up to the fight or in the fight. And uh, I feel really good right now. I feel really healthy. Um, you know, it's uh, always a, a good camp when you just have a nagging injury as opposed to, you know, something that's torn or fractured or yeah. something of this yeah. nature. Speaking of injuries and, and having fights that are difficult, you had a pretty tough fight and a loss to Holloway. Looking back, what would you have done differently? I probably would have trained for that fight. That would have been a, a good start, you know, to train for that fight. And um, <laughs> I would have liked to have uh, not been headbutted and had a referee that would uh, take better control and done his job. That's what I would have done different in that fight. How did you persevere through that then? Uh, you know, I'd, I've been doing this a long time. Um, you know, I, I knew I had a lot of things going, you know, against me. I was uh, in an unfortunate spot, not really being able to train for the fight. And, you know, I knew that I was fighting, you know, a mile high in Denver. So, right. you know, I just knew that once I got in there, you know, not to overexert myself, just to try to stay calm, keep my muscles calm, um, you know, and, and not fight too much in the clinch. You know, that would be very wearing, very tiring on the body. and. Um, you know, I knew that I didn't have that uh, gas to fight three rounds like that, so I tried to just keep the fight, um, you know, in the places that I wanted to keep it in, and that was uh, right in the center uh, of the octagon. So I was glad that I was able to fight there most of the time. Um, after the cut happened, he was able to uh, back me up a little bit more, and my back was a little bit more on the fence than I would have liked, but I was, I was very pleased overall with how the fight went with um, as little preparation as I was able to get. Speaking of experience, you've had so many fights in the UFC. Who was the one fighter you'd like to rematch? I don't, um, I don't really want to rematch anybody. <laughs> I've got my wins, you know. I've got my losses, and uh, when these things happen, I don't really, uh, I don't really weigh on them too much, you know. In the in the future, that that happened, you know, you made a mistake, move on, get over it. That's the the reality that you know you live in, and. If you uh, focus on your mistakes and you focus on these things, then you, that means that you're not really uh, thinking about taking steps forward. You're focusing on the past. And, you know, it's like if, I, if I'm a better fighter, you know, than a guy that had beat me, so what? You weren't better that night. Get over it and move on and think about what's ahead of you. Good advice. Before we go to anything else you'd like to add? Um, no. <laughs> Thanks for having me, as usual. And before I go today, I want to thank Cole Miller because you were my very first interview in the MMA mm -hmm. with your brother Micah. Mm -hmm. And I asked a lot of stupid questions, right? That's okay. Come on, I That's asked okay. a lot of stupid questions. You, you were a rookie. <laughs> You're a rookie. So I really want to thank you. I'm very grateful you gave me my yeah. start. And I also want to wish you good luck on your fight if you see Fight Night in Orlando on December yep. 19th. Thanks very much. Good job. As usual. Blow it up.